What's up, R&J gang? It's your girl, Jazz, and I'm back with the first DIY video on the rolling trays this week. Today, we're going to be doing a light-up tray with um, regular printer paper, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I sell everything. I'm just showing you the pre-cut images. Um, I printed it off with my Cricut and um, cut it out with my Cricut. As you can see, this turtle has a little defect and um so does my big turtle it cut some holes in the leg so i'm just gonna fix that right on up so you guys don't see it this here is the contact paper that i will be using to seal the photo so i don't get any water spots or um discoloration in the photo i'm gonna cut that to the size that i would need it I'm placing the turtle, the regular printer paper onto the contact paper and I'm trying to make sure that I get it smooth without any um, lumps, bumps, rivets, waves or nothing like that in there. So that's what I'm just doing and I'm going to just repeat this process and I'm going to fix this leg like right now by cutting the other turtle that was messed up and just placing that on there. Just trying to hide it just a little bit. to make sure that you're cutting the excess tape off because it can create a difference in the um, color of your tray and it'll be a little noticeable so make sure you're cutting that as close as you can off and using Mod Podge to seal the um, well to glue the pictures to the tray. I'm just going to arrange the turtles how I want them to go and how I want them to look. I'm kind of doing the big mama leading the little turtles type thing, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. So I'm just going to grab this Mod Podge, put it on my sponge, and then start gluing it on the back of the picture. The only part that is still is the colored part of the picture. So I can use the Mod Podge to seal the back end as a glue. If you get what I'm saying? Just ki just killing two birds with one stone. So we're going to do that right now with the Mod Podge and then place it. Making sure that it's even and smoothed out. just grabbing some stuff just to hold down the turtle to make sure that it actually gets glued to the tray with no lifting and I did just that now I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and start applying the lights next time I'm thinking I'm gonna try e6000 glue and please do not mind the length of my lights I got them off Amazon and I really didn't do too much reading before I ordered them I thought it was just going to come in a six pack like they did last time and it didn't so yeah this is how I'm doing it and these are the plug up ones I do not suggest plug up ones get the battery operated yes but other than that we're just about to glue this and press it down um for some reason my hot glue gun wasn't hot so I don't know if this was my cool glue, glue my cool glue or what but my low temp glue gun i don't know but i was pressing it down with my finger and i didn't burn myself at all and i also was using a popsicle stick just because i thought i might burn myself but it wasn't hot it never got hot <laughs>
So I'm gonna just let this process play through for you guys of me going around this tray. I'm really just gluing, putting the wire down and pushing it into the glue for a solid stick. Um, as again, you could try E6000 glue if you do not have a hot gun, but I know that takes longer to dry for me. So I was just going with the hot glue, but I might try it next time if you guys want. Um, but yeah, so you see how my pictures are still bright and all sealed up. Remember how it looks now for later in the video when I apply the epoxy. This is my first time doing um, a tray with lights like this. I did do a vanity tray, but that was different. It had nothing to do with epoxy. So, yeah, this is something new for me. And I like it, but I do have things I would switch up in my next video. So, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Comment down below and like this video. Um, I'm always open to suggestions and tips. So, don't feel discouraged to say what you need to say. And I love you guys. Thank you for being a part of the family. Look at them lights and them turtles, y'all. And I'm just playing with the remote because it came with a remote. But don't order these lights. I do not recommend. So I have new blunt holders that are, well, hookah tips that are available for freaking wholesale and regular purchase. So get with me because you can see that my hookah tip matches my tray. And of course, yeah, I got the hookahs for sale too, regular and wholesale. So if you do not know I have groups for those, go ahead and add my wholesale group and my craft group. Both of the groups are new groups and are slowly growing. But yes, get with me, subscribe, join the groups, join the groups. So I'm just pouring an epoxy. I do half and half, part A and part B. This is the food safe epoxy. So if it looks a little different than last time, that's why. Um, but yes, and this epoxy does create more bubbles. So I have my heat gun for that. I'll do a separate video on that later. But you see me mix epoxy plenty of times. And if you're new here, go ahead and watch a previous video about epoxy. So this is my first time trying to put a picture into the ashtray and you did not see that beginning of the video because I did not like how it turned out. So yeah, I'm not showing you guys, duh. But um, to fix my mistake, I would have just added more epoxy in the beginning, the clear epoxy in the beginning and then place my photo and then pour the rest of the epoxy. But and the lighter blue, it wasn't really blending well with my set anyway. So toss that to the side and here we are i'm trying you know how turtles and pictures when they flap their arms they do this like little cloud or you know what i'm talking about well if you don't that's what i was trying to do with the glitter and it didn't quite work it just looks like a little bit of glitter on the tray so i think next time if i decide to redo this tray i'll do like ink in acrylic or paint in acrylic to give it that more of a white distinguished look see how it looks just just there um but yeah so this is where i'm gonna end that part of the video the tray is drying overnight and and this is a tray while it's still drying like the epoxy is not dry yet this is still wet epoxy and you can see the lights are still working um this would be a bomb try to sell just make sure you perfect it this is my first time doing the lights and of course i wanted to record it for you guys thank you for watching and here is the finished look also the hookahs and the hookah tips are wholesale and regular purchase is available 
So go at my groups. My craft group is the Real Craft Family on Facebook. And the um, my wholesale group is in the description box. As you can see how I sew this, it has no watermarks, very pigmented still. It's a beautiful color and everything. The picture is still intact. And this is regular photo paper, guys. Regular printer paper, I'm sorry. Regular printer paper. <laughs> 